Let me start off by saying thank you for your purchase of East Coast Rescue Solutions multi-use window prop. My name is Rick Myers, the designer and fabricator of this prop, and in this video we're going to go over multi-functions of the prop itself, the assembly and the disassembly, and how we use it in its intended use. Alright, let's get started. Now for the cutting prop. Two different uses of the cutting prop and maybe possibly more to come. This was just a regular um, eighth inch piece of steel uh, that I've placed just for a demonstration and for a template. With your prop you will get one template for the three doors. Um, it's 17 and a quarter by 17 and a quarter. I don't think you'd use eighth inch steel uh, to duplicate the skin of a door when utilizing this framing square curve cut. So this is basically an intended use for uh, a template which will come with it as well. Now, once you've placed in this piece of steel which just slides in a, a groove, you're going to tighten these down with the thumb screws to hold it in place. Make your cut. Now this is 16 inches of cuttable space. So if you have a 14 inch blade or if you have a 12 inch metal or composite blade, there's plenty of room to cut without cutting the plate. Tighten our screws with our thumb screws to place the, the uh, metal is put into place. Um, I've made my curve cut with my 14 inch diamond blade. Now uh, to simulate that it's an actual door, I'm going to place my framing square in the hole. manipulate the lock itself and I'll show you on the other side how that works as well. Alright let's talk about the removal of the window prop itself. As you can see we have two guides here of uh, square tubing and then a receiver in which the window prop and the cutting prop slide on it to hold it in place. So you just take the header off, which I've already done. It's held with set screws, um, half inch set screws. Just release it. It slides right up off the prop. Now we're going to use the cutting prop. So take the cutting prop. Slide it in place. The header back on, tighten the screws, and we're ready for the next operation. All right, the second use of our cutting prop is going to be for carriage bolts itself. Um, you will receive in the package a template uh, for cutting carriage bolts in the cutting area. Now the size of the hole that you're going to put in your actual metal that's going to slide into place is going to depend obviously on the size of the carriage bolt that you're using. In this case right now in the holes that we've used and drilled is for the use of a 3 8 um, carriage bolt which is probably going to be the most common carriage bolt that you're going to encounter out in the field. So we'll just once the, once the metal uh, sheet has been put into place then we're going to install our carriage bolts. And you just merely put the carriage bolt in place Put the washer on the back side. Tighten the nut and now you're ready for cutting. Obviously you can fill all these holes. This is the typical pattern that you're going to see when you encounter a carriage bolt that's probably going to be holding a security device such as a drop bar. Um, so when you go to make your cuts, I've designed it where it's away from the prop enough to where you can make a good 45 degree cut and get beyond the actual carriage square part uh, into the threaded portion of the bolt, which is where you want to go. It's where the least resistance is. Make the cut and it's still going to be using the prop. And then have many of many carriage bolts so that it enables you a lot of repetition when you teach them. Another use of the multi-use window prop is going to be breaking of the glass so that we can uh, duplicate reaching in and manipulating the lock by hand if we break the glass. So it's used uh, quarter inch uh, Lexon glass that's designed for hitting uh, without breaking for multiple use. Um, you just simply hit it, reach in, 
Jan. Manipulate the lock and open it. All right, now that we've broke out all three of the panes, let's talk about the replacement of the window panes. Each of the window pieces that are on the ends have a beveled corner just to go around that weld. We always want to start with each end and then replace the middle one on itself as this. Let me demonstrate. So this is the beveled end of the door. I'm going to start in the middle, flex it, put it in inside the slot, slide it over. This is the other beveled side. Each corner is beveled to go on this corner. So I'll start in the middle, flex it, put it in its place, slide it over. Last but not least, it's going to be the centerpiece, which does not have any bevels on the corners. Slide it in place. And we're ready to go for the next set. Alright, one of the uses of the multi-use window prop is forcing the window as it was a double hung window um, and forcing the lock itself. Now, because of the curvature of the ads of a Pro Bar Halligan, it's almost impossible to start off with the ads trying to get a bite. So what you would do in this case is get the forks, start them in, hit the forks in, lift up and get enough progress where you feel like you can get, capture your progress with possibly a wedge, a wooden wedge, aluminum wedge, or an axe. Then reposition your tool to the ads to where you can finish your force here this way and come down and force the window. That's the intended use of the forcible window problem.